While there is no perfect time to jump rope, you might want to start jumping rope early in the morning. In this video, I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of jumping rope early in the morning. Jumping rope can be as good as your morning coffee. You'll get up, you'll feel refreshed, you'll feel just ready to go. Once you get up and jump, you'll just feel like your day got started so early that by the time you get to work, you'll already just be ready to work, ready to go, and you might not even need to get that caffeine fixed. You'll also get a sense of accomplishment. You'll really feel like you accomplished something before your day even started. This will help you make healthier choices and just do and feel better. Now, once you start jumping rope early in the morning and you get used to the schedule, it'll create regularity. All of a sudden, you'll get up every morning at a certain time and your body just won't feel right if you haven't jumped rope. So once you get started, it kind of just keeps you from doing anything else. There's less distractions in the morning, so you'll be able to just keep that schedule a little easier. That cardio session early in the morning can vastly increase your metabolism. After a glass of water, your body will release waste and get accustomed to a sweat session, which would increase your metabolism. Adding cardio to your morning routine can actually make you more productive at your job. Research has found that exercising in the morning has a beneficial effect on energy levels, alertness, focus, and decision making, which can translate to a more productive workday. Now with yin, there has to be yang. Here's some of the drawbacks for jumping rope early in the morning. If you jump rope early in the morning, you might notice that it takes you a little longer to warm up. This is just because your body's core temperature is simply colder. And this is a fact for everybody. You, you wake up, your body's core temperature is colder. So it literally takes you some time to warm up and really get a good cardio session in. Your heart rate is also slower in the morning, which also contributes to needing a longer warm up. So if you really want to work out in the morning, you're really going to have to find something that helps you warm up. I normally like to just do like an easy set. I'm not counting. I'm not doing any type of timing. I'm just jumping just to get my body ready to go. If you're not getting enough sleep, you might interrupt a good deep sleep. Depending on your sleep cycle, an early morning alarm might puncture deep sleep. This can result in you feeling groggy and chronic fatigue if this happens too often. You're normally not at your peak physical condition if you start out working out in the morning. Most people don't just get out of bed and be just ready to go work out. You kinda have to warm up. As I said previously, warm ups are super, super important. So you get ready, get a good stretch routine, and you'll be ready to go. While you're not at your physical peak, you'll be able to do it with less distractions. Now hit that subscribe button because next week I'm going to take you through the pros and cons of jumping rope at the evening and night. Now if you want to know more about the benefits of jumping rope period, check this video out right here. And as always, just start. Worry about being perfect later. Peace.